Okay, so let's focus. Where are we at the moment? We had some eShare, didn't we? We swapped it for BNB. So that BNB is now in our MetaMask. We now want to send that BNB to, in this case, Binance. I'll show you how to do this process using another online exchange such as Coinbase in a few videos time. But for now, let's stick with Binance, at least for the next few videos. Now, of course, as I'm sure you remember, if you're using Binance, there are two types of Binance accounts. There's Binance.com if you're anywhere in the world apart from America, and then there's Binance.us if you are in America. Both have the same functionality, but both do look a little bit different. But the the, the process is, is the same for both. And in this case, what we need to do is we need to grab the address of BNB in Binance for us to send the BNB from our MetaMask Two. So let's go and do that in this video. So let me log into my Binance.com account. Okay, and here I am in my Binance.com account. I'm in my wallet. I'm looking at my assets. Here are some of the uh, the cryptocurrencies that I hold. Uh, but we want to grab the address for BNB, don't we? So we can deposit some BNB from our MetaMask to, in this case, Binance. So in the search area up here, I'm simply going to type in BNB. I'm presented with BNB itself, and look, here is the deposit link. So clicking on that, we will get presented with your address. You'll get a unique address. So here is my address for BNB. And essentially, once we've got our address to deposit our BNB to, we just go back to MetaMask and we will type in this address and send our BNB. Let's go and do that right now. So there's my BNB address. I've just copied and pasted it into a, a little text edit document here. Let's stay on Binance. Let's click on Mr. MetaMask head up here. Oh, my document's disappeared. There we go. I'm just going to copy this address now. And now here's my BNB. Here is my BNB itself. Uh, so let's click on let's click on the BNB asset to make sure it's selected. Yes, it is. Let's click on send, and I would paste in here the address that I want to send it to, which is the address I've just grabbed, of course, from Binance. There we go, and we can send our BNB. I've got a balance of 0 0.5, so we can send all of it. Well, we wouldn't want to send all of it, would we? Why is that? You got it, because we need a little bit for gas, just a little bit. Uh, so let's do in this case, well, actually, I'm not going to send it because I don't want to send it at the moment, but this would be the process. I'm just going to put 0.1 and uh, I click next. It'll ask me to confirm. And if I click confirm, then this 0.1 BNB would get sent. And it takes, it's very, very quick, takes less than a couple of minutes. It would appear in my assets in Binance under BNB, but I'm not going to do that. But that is how you would send your BNB from MetaMask to Binance, essentially exactly the reverse of what we did when we started this whole process, which seems like a million years ago now, doesn't it? So let's summarize. What did we accomplish in this video? Well, we went through the process of how to send our BNB from MetaMask to Binance. It would be exactly the same process, by the way, if it was BUSD you wanted to send from your MetaMask to Binance, or indeed any cryptocurrency you want to send from MetaMask. You just grab the deposit address in Binance and then put that address in MetaMask and send, in this case, our BNB from MetaMask to Binance. Do remember there is a Binance.com and a Binance.us account, and they do look a little bit different, as you know, but the functionality, of course, is the same. So what do you do now? Well, really, there's nothing for you to do right now, but let's continue this process of using Binance. So now that we've got our BNB in Binance, how do we then actually convert that in Binance to fiat, to, in this case, US dollars. How do we do that swap? Well, uh, let's go and look at that in the next video.